time for one more journey. This last one is actually a lot better than all the other ones. And hopefully you enjoy them all. But, because no more will come until next year. Hello my babies, Zabak here, and welcome to another video of T Babies Alliance Stories. Alright, this is the final one of our all of them. I'm working on more. Oh, but it won't come out until next year. Yeah, and those remaining are God Hunter 2 and Soul Collect. Yeah, God Hunter 2 and Soul Collector 2. So this one is called Soul Collector 1. Yeah, there's two parts to this story. Alright, and the first part is called a Sorcerer Journeys. Okay, so it's like a journey to become to become a superhero or maybe like a, like a soul kingdom. It's kind of weird and interesting, but I I say it's, you're, you're actually going to like it a lot. Anyway, a, it is called Soul... Uh, excuse me. Okay. So, this one is called Soul Collector 1 A Sorcerer Journeys. It is Zed Black Final Journey. He is ready. He's already a superhero, a expert sorcerer, and now a wizard god. This is his final his final journey to become a soul collector. It is a Epic, a physical important wall. The quest it gets harder and longer than ever to beat. Death Noah's Grim Reaper is retiring, and Zabak will take his his role as Soul Collector. But he is not taking this journey alone. His soulmate Citrus will join in too. Like drawing him in too. They will learn new abilities and spells and unleash the, their ultimate attack together. From their spirit animals, animals how to, to collect souls and how to, to use these souls of, for light and dark. Now into the story. The story starts with Zab Black on the island, which is now a castle. Zab Black was waiting for Citrus, but she did, but she did not arrive. And come, a letter was sent to Zab Black. The letter read that Citrus was getting married to the Demon Lord L. It looked like I was preparing to go to a rescue. Zab Black gets ready to put on a red button down sh shirt, a black jacket, and fire pants to fit his outfit and red gla and a red dress shoes. He arrived at the red wedding in the dark realm in a church. He meets up with a lot of demons and meets up with the Demon Lord. The Demon Lord appears more menaces than the last Demon Lord. <laughs> he just killed two before. Uh, he was wearing a dark red button down shirt and a jacket and a black jacket ripped off because he was too for too big for his muscles arms his black hands suffer from the same problem as his black jacket rip off Zab black talks to the demon lord to get info about him before he goes to sisters sisters was upstairs in one of the 
church rooms, she wore a purple and black wedding dress. There was a white symbol of yin and yang, and then wear purple shoes. Zabak meets up with the dress, and Zabak is surprised about the dress she was wearing. Sister said to Zabak that she was going, she doesn't want him to marry the demon lord, but she, she been ordered by the king, the demon lord, father. While well, Zabak planned to escape the wedding and go on a journey to the soul realm. They ran away out of the door when everyone was sitting and waiting for the marriage. They went towards the portal to the soul realm and this is where the new journey begins. Enter the soul realm where death lives. This is a unexpected big realm with houses, towns, cities, and lots of souls, which, you, which is people are, that are kind of dead. Death lives in a castle in the center of the town. As you know, he is retiring as a Grim Reaper and giving his wall to Zao Black as the soul collector. It's another wall, uh, name for Grim, uh, like Grim Reaper. When Zadlak and Citrus arrived at Death's place, he was surprised that they were becoming famous <laughs> uh, fast real lately. So Death wanted to change Zadlak's outfit and also Citrus too. This one is Zadlak's outfit to look more like a soul collector. For the wall of Citrus, she is going to be his guide, help out Zablak, and study the, the soul realm. So it's like a support together. So first up, outfit is Zablak. So Zablak changed his outfit to look like a soul collector. He is wearing a black robe, which is green lines and a and a ice phoenix symbol and a dark red sunglasses with brown spiky hair. Citrus is next. Citrus changed to her outfit, which is a dark witch archaeology. She is wearing a purple robe with white lines, a mocking jade symbol, and red glasses with a long black hair. Death tells Zablak to collect some souls and use them wisely. What is the difference between light and the souls of dark souls? Use the dark souls for attack and use the light souls to heal yourself. Death tells Zablak to collect 100 souls to unlock your first ultimate spell. And that what the couple do. Zablak and Citrus enter the first dungeon, the undead dungeon, to enter souls, yeah, to collect some souls. On their way, Zablak wants to know why Citrus is getting married to the Demon Lord. Well, it was order from the king to get married as a queen or die in darkness, the sister said. That didn't sound pleasant. <laughs> so thank God they escaped. True, but now they have to solve the, this problem, Alma, which is they must get married before the demon king finds them. They continue to collect souls after all until they collect 100 souls. After entering so many dungeons, 
Zabak collects 100 souls and reports back to death. They return back to death and Zabak unlocks his first ultimate spell, which is actually range of souls, to kill a boss more easily after all. It's like a one hit kill um, spell. Now death wants you to collect 1,000 souls, enter many more dungeons and collecting souls Batting out monsters, collected the, the 1,000 souls, and Zabak unlocked his second ultimate ability, which is Wills of Souls, to kill multiple enemies in battle. After that, Zabak must collect 10,000 souls, souls times to enter more dungeons. Finally, he collect 10,000 souls, and then Zab Black unlock his third ultimate ability, Range of Phoenix. A way to kill a boss double time. So it's like, first time four, and then come back again. So that's twice the damage. Now Zablack and Citrus have to fight, yeah, take on fighting a Titan. Enter the dungeon to fight the Titan and win the battle, it was defeated. They report back to death to know what is next. Death tells them to rest for a while. Now they are finished, the first part is now to wait for another one to get ready for the fight, the colossal boss. So there you have it. That's the end of the story for Soul Collector One. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you about Soul Collector Two yet because uh, you may know where it is at all. Look, because uh, the last sentence was actually to get ready for the colossal boss. It's actually a giant. A no, it's giant, genomous boss battle after all, and nobody ever ever uh, succeed well against him. So, but different but that, and let's move on you know, to our outro. So I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching, and and that's the end of this. T Ravens Alliance story for now. More are coming next year. Here, so yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you join T Ravens, do follow me on all of my social media accounts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.